President Biden says despite the attacks, the U.S. mission will go on until Tuesday's deadline for withdrawal. Ed O'Keefe is at the White House, where the president spoke to Americans about the bombings. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. The president says he takes responsibility for what's transpired in recent days. And while there's no word yet on how the U.S. will respond, the president made clear the U.S. will retaliate. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. President Biden vowing to retaliate for the brutal attack in Kabul. We will not be deterred by terrorists. We will not let them stop our mission. We will continue the evacuation. And while some Republicans want Mr. Biden to expand the mission. He need to retake Bagram and probably retake other airports as well. The president said his military advisors unanimously recommended moving forward with planning to depart by August 31st, despite the likelihood of more attacks. We thought this would happen sooner or later. It's tragic that it happened today. It's tragic there was this much loss of life. The president, his top advisors and military commanders have been warning for days of potential attacks by ISIS-K, the Afghan affiliate of ISIS. And the State Department warned Americans early Thursday, stay away from the airport because of security threats outside the gates. Then, just hours later, explosions left dozens dead as the president was convening a meeting at the White House about ongoing evacuations in Afghanistan. What does today's attack say about the U.S.'s ability to keep the terrorist threat in check once the U.S. pulls off military forces out of Afghanistan? ISIS's ability to target individuals who are on the ground in Afghanistan is very different from ISIS's ability to attack the United States and attack the homeland. And we will maintain and continue over the horizon capacity uh, with uh, presence uh, and partnership with uh, countries in the region to ensure that they don't uh, develop that ability. Saki and other aides here at the White House agreed that it was the darkest day yet of the Biden presidency. One aide described it to me as a, quote, tough and emotional day. And it's important to point out that despite the violence, the mission continues. The White House telling us this morning another 12,500 people were evacuated out of Afghanistan yesterday, even amid the violence scale. All right, Ed, thank you very much. Let's